Knowledge is power, but knowledge about yourself is self-empowerment. You can change your brain just by thinking differently. We cannot create a new future by holding on to the emotions of the past. You have to feel empowered for your success to show up. Also, you have to feel abundant for your wealth to find you. And you need to feel gratitude in order to create the life that you want. We're addicted to our beliefs. We're addicted to the emotions of our past. We see our beliefs as truths and not as ideas that can be changed by us. If your personal reality is creating your personality, you are a victim. But if your personality is creating your personal reality, then you are a creator. The quantum field responds not to what we want, it responds to who we are being. The process of change requires a process of unlearning the old. It requires breaking the habit of the old self and reinventing a new self. Spend time contemplating who you want to be. The mere process of contemplating on who you want to be begins to change your brain and then the world around you. The moment you decide to no longer think the same way, act the same way, or live by the same emotions, it's going to feel uncomfortable. And the moment you feel uncomfortable, you just stepped into the river of change. Learning is forming new connections in the brain, and memory is maintaining and sustaining those connections. Never stop learning. Life is made of never-ending growths. We've in fact conditioned ourselves to believe all sorts of things that aren't necessarily true. And many of these things are having a negative impact on our health and happiness. When we live by the hormones of stress and all of the energy goes to these hormonal centers and away from the heart, in those moments, the heart gets starved of energy. The hardest part about change is not making the same choices you made the day before. When you are observing the old self, you are no longer the program. Now, you are the consciousness observing the program. And that's when you begin to objectify your subjective self. When you add beliefs together, you create a perception. Your perceptions have everything to do with the choices you make, the behaviors you exhibit, the relationships you chose, and the realities you create. The hormones of stress in the long term push the genetic buttons that create disease and makes us feel separate from the possibility of learning, creation, and trust. People can get addicted to the adrenaline and the stress hormones, and they start using the problems and conditions in their life to reaffirm their emotional addiction so they can remember who they think they are. The bad circumstances, the bad relationship, the bad job, all of that is in place because the person needs that to reaffirm their emotional addiction. If you can't get beyond your stresses, your problems and your pain, you can't create a new future where those things don't exist. Life is about the management of energy. Where you place your attention is where you place your energy. Every time we have a thought, we create a chemical. If we have good thoughts, we create chemicals that make us feel good. And if we have negative thoughts, we make chemicals that make us feel exactly the way we are thinking. Thoughts create the world around us. Same thoughts always lead to the same choices. Same choices lead to the same behavior and the same behaviors lead to same experiences. And the same experiences produce the same emotions. And these emotions drive the very same thoughts. Get out of destructive circles. The privilege of being a human being is that we can make a thought seem more real 
than anything else. It's true that our brain is shaped and molded by our environment, but what science is beginning to realize is that our brain is shaped and molded by our ability to pay attention. And when we have the ability to pay attention, we have the ability to learn knowledge and wire that knowledge in our brain. Remind yourself every single day of who you want to be and you will cause your brain to fire in new sequences, in new patterns, in new combinations. And whenever you make your brain work differently, you are changing your mind. We perceive reality based on how our brain is wired. Your personality creates your personal reality. Your personality is made up of how you act, how you think, and how you feel. Process of change requires you becoming conscious of your unconscious self. As long as you are thinking equal to your environment, you keep creating the same life. To truly change is to think greater than your environment, the circumstances in your life, and greater than the conditions in the world. The best way to predict your future is to create it not from the known, but from the unknown. When you get uncomfortable in the place of the unknown, that's where the magic happens. Always remember, if you can be anything in life, be a stoic. Support with a like and subscribe for more stoic empowerment.